Howdy folks, gonna do a video on using what I use those bone spikes I made that I have my belt patch I showed you on that belt patch video. I figure I'd come out here today and uh, show you how I'd make a uh, kill trap and also possibly maybe make a frog gig with those spikes. Because, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people just spout out what they do with things. Like in their EDC kits and belch pouches and survival kits. But they never actually show how they would use them. So, that's what I'm going to do today. Once we get up in the mat a little bit. Stay tuned. I'm not going to show y'all every little step and aspect making this kill trap because in most places it's completely illegal to do these kind of traps. And this is for educational purposes only. For, you know, if you're in a survival situation, if you're a uh, lost way out in the mountain, and you got no food, you don't really need much of anything to make one of these traps. You need a little paracord or some bank line, which you should have in your kit if you have any sense. And the rest of it, you can really get off the land. Now, you could use just any old hardwood stick to sharpen a spike. I made a bunch of these little bone spikes and I have those in my belt pouch at all times which is on my side this is a little bit harder than well hello Bonzo this is a little bit harder than most even hardwoods it'll last longer this will last a long time in my belt pouch but you can do a lot of different things with these little spikes I mean this is basically from a deer leg Bonzo walked out of the brush with and you mash it up with a rock you can sand it down with coarse rocks or I mean if you carry a multi-tool on you and there, there's bones all over the mountains so I mean you theoretically could find a bone when you're lost and make some spikes it's going to take longer than using your knife to sharpen up a wooden spike if you have your little multi-tool on you. I got the Victorinox Spirit X, big fan of. Uh, there's a little file on here. And you can crack the burn up and file this down into a spike. Something to think about. So whatever tools you have on you, I mean, they're, they're designed to help you get by a little easier out in the woods. I've already got these made in my bell patch, so I'm going to show you how I would use it. <laughs> You're crazy. What do you want? Treat? Did you finish your food? I like to throw it up in the leaves. It helps stimulate his mind, keep him going, you know, wear him out mentally a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to do with this guy, but... Uh, any little thing to sharpen his skills also. Dog's a great asset out there in the uh, mountain with you. They can help you get food also. Alright. You just want some kind of stick that has a branch coming off it that you can put some kind of bait on. I will use the saw on my multi-tool.
You could just as easily do all this with your belt knife as well. That'll actually work out for the other piece. Beaver chew this out. Well, so to fasten the spike on this end, you could theoretically tie it, lash it on there like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make it just a tad bit more secure. Spend a little more time. When it comes to life and death, make it as good as you can. You know, don't cut any corners. So, what I'm going to do, That nice and tight. Now I've done this. Now I'm going to split this wood. I'm going to lightly split this down through here a little. Take it easy. Don't go barreling on through. These are times when batoning is good. It's a plus. What you need. You see... Now I split this down. See that? I made a split here, but it didn't continue all the way down. Lashing this here kind of stopped it. So I've got my split. Now I can pop my spike in there. You want your spike facing the opposite way. 
of this flat spot you cut out. So I just snap my spike. It's alright, I can make a needle or something out of that. This is what it is. It's being too hard on it. So, like as you can see, I got this spike in here. I mean, you could make this out of a piece of wood and you could just lash it right there. But this is going to have it in there more secure. You don't want it to slip when it hits the animal. So now I got this piece down in there like that. You see where we're going with this? Just to make sure, I'm going to lash this spike onto this piece of wood. So then look. Flat. You got your flat end. You got your spike up here. See where we're going with this? That over there, that beast. I gave him a bunch of food, now he's sleepy. I'm taking a nap. Yes, normally I don't use this end of that lashing to tie this on, lash the spike on, but shoot, since it's long enough, I want to save that length of pair, or, uh, bank line as much as I can, you know? What if I need to use this for something else? So, might as well work with what you got. Try and pull this a little tighter with my... Yeah. I'm, on, I'm not going to cut this end off either because I just want to save this length in case I need to use this bank line for something else. I mean, you never know. Save your resources as much as you can. Alright, so. We got your flat end here. We got your spike facing the opposite way. Now, we're going to go find ourselves a good spot to set this up and I'll show you the rest. Right, we're going to venture over where Bonzo is somewhere in the woods and get off this stream here. And I'm going to show you how to set this up. All right, we're going to get up in the thick of it a little bit. The uh, nice thing about these baited traps are you don't have to put them along a game trail. You can uh, set these off the trail in the brush somewhere. I mean, you still want to kind of scout an area out to try and see where, you know, rabbit, squirrel, whatever is moving through. Um, get you a better chance. And you want to set up more than one of these traps. Rule of thumb, maybe set up ten traps, you might get one bit of game. So it's it's a lot of work. And then you got to remember where you set the traps. So we're going to get up in this rhododendron just a little bit. And I will set this trap up show you all what it looks like. Ideally, you want to find yourself two saplings fairly close together. But, I'm going to show you that you don't need two saplings for this trap. Make your own saplings popping out of the ground.
doing an extra little bit of modification to the promontory peg, which I'm not going to do straight up on camera. Go search it out for yourself and plenty of info out there on how to do these traps. So I want to show you every little piece. If you're really interested in doing them, do it. But you got to go figure it out. There you are. I'm gonna have having fun. There's your bait stick. All right, put your bait here. This is all, anything that's holding this together is pressure. I've wound this windlass with the spike on it back. It's a little easier doing it with saplings, but as you can see, I just banged some branches of rhododendron into the ground pretty good to wind this back tight. You can get a little more pressure out of two saplings and even put a brace point somewhere up above to hold it from pulling in then you can get a whole lot of pressure on it so creature comes up tries to steal that bait off the peg and bam send this spike hopefully back into its spine for a quick kill make a spike out of wood you don't have to make it out of bone you know it's nothing like actually getting out there and practicing it I don't know I hope you all learned something interesting you know set it up and figure out how best it works for you tweak things um, doesn't matter how much you've read about it you got to get out there and get experience and hands-on to be able to make it the best you can but I hope you all enjoyed the video I'm going to take this back apart and continue on my hike. We'll, uh, we'll do a frog gig at a later date. I'll show you all how I can make a frog gig out of these bone spikes. But, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. And Bonzo and I will catch you on the next one. See you. We'll finish out the video with a little fun Bonzo and I had up the mountain a few days ago. Oh yeah.